Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com so on 19th of may the saturday the nabard grade a exam held right the phase 1 exam and in that exam 36 questions out of 40 were asked from in the esi section were asked from the study material prepared by team bank exams today so as all of you are aware about it that aware about it that we provide free as well as premium content for nabad grade a exam in the same channel i have provided the free capsules i provide the gk digest the monthly gk digest i provide uh, a pdf of government schemes pdf of government schemes the pdf of you know notifications by sebi the pdfs of economic survey a lot of questions from uh, were there in the exam from our study material so uh, let's start which are the questions that were actually so why i'm making this video i mean i am aware about the fact that till now you have got the questions from various websites and videos but uh, you know doing such sort of exam analysis is not our job i mean what we are doing right now is we are comparing the questions asked in the actual exam with our study material it takes time we took two days i know we are little late but we are doing the we are doing our perf our, our performance analysis not the exam analysis this is the performance analysis of team bank exams today so the question number one the percentage of funds given to the special category states under the css uh, yes we cover the css but we didn't cover how much percentage of funds that are given to the special category states so we didn't cover that uh, topic that sp specific uh, you know uh, question into in our study material we covered css but we didn't cover that uh, honestly uh, being honest this question was not covered the sustained increase in general level of prices of goods and services is called inflation so very simple question this was part of inflation and deflation concepts uh, video premium content in, our, in that uh, Navar grade a course so the headline cpi inflation for 2017-18 averaged out around 3.3 percent this question was from economic survey and yes we covered this question in our economic survey notes so rbi has deferred the implementation of indian accounting standards by one year so yes this was a part of rbi grade b gk digest so this was a part of premium content and we provide that content in our uh, uh, the nabad course so it was there in rba grade b gk digest march 2018 so part of premium content again students uh in that general awareness 35 question out of 40 were asked from our uh, study material 35 and uh, around 25 questions were from free content and just 10 percent 10 questions were from the premium content so yes we provide a lot of free content for the general awareness uh, but for that ESI, most of our study material is paid. So the gross value added picture, state of economic affairs from the point of view of producers. So again, economics premium content in the static economics con uh, concepts, this was a part of it. So unemployment caused by the mismatch between the worker skill and the skill demanded by recruiters is called the structure in unemployment. So it was a part of types of unemployment lectures in the premium ESI content. So in India, 65% of population is below 35 years. So this was a part of the lecture demographic trends. So economic growth can be seen as percentage increase in real GDP. So this was a part of concepts of GDP lecture. And we also prepared the notes for that. That was actually the first, uh, first chapter and we covered it. As per the UN report, India is on the brink of urban revolution. Urban population in India is, is expected to be around 600 million by 2031 uh, we didn't cover that question actually i mean we we yes we covered uh, this report but we didn't cover i mean how much the india's population is expected to be around 2031 so we didn't cover that as per economic survey 2018 top 1% firms accounts for which percentage of exports 38% economic survey notes premium con content we covered it gdp growth caused by caused by the increase in the amount of inputs available for use or quanti uh, quantitative increase in land labor or capital is called extensive growth that was the second chapter concepts of national income part of premium content again 
as per ilo the number of jobless person in india would be in, in 2019 would be 1.89 million so that was again part of premium content in ilo lecture uh, nrlm comes under which uh, ministry it is ministry of rural development that was the nabad grade a question bank one and two so that was actually available for free to everybody which sector has been most vibrant in India in terms of contribution of national income FTA as well as employment service sector? So came from the economic survey premium notes. Grand innovation challenge has been launched by Niti Aayog. We didn't cover that. I accept it. We didn't cover that. I mean, maybe we forgot or maybe I mean, we didn't cover that. Which of the following is not a sustainable development goal, either internet option uh, or all of the above. So yes, this was a part of economic survey volume two, uh, volume two, uh, that was a part of premium content, which of the following statement is correct regarding the inflation targeting. So inflation targeting, so inflation and deflation video lecture available in the premium content. We covered it. Yes, we covered it as per SECC. The percentage of rural households who are landless and earn their income from manual labor is 30 percent. So that was part of census 2011 premium content as per SECC the percentage of rural households having an having a family income who has completed education up to higher uh, secondaries 5.4 percent and that was actually part of there was actually an article about census we republished this article the expected questions from census we republished this article thrice right uh, most recently we uh, republished it in the month of jan so yes and this uh, this particular article was part of many gk digest so there were two versions from it the next the latest economic survey cover is pink that was actually very you know common question i mean uh, we made an expectation and yes this uh, this question is here to underline the gender issues yes this was part of economic survey notes that were provided by team bank exams today who is a nodal ministry for manarega ministry of rural development and it was part of uh, nabad question bank another question from nabad question for bank i think it, there were around six questions from nabad question bank only the question bank that we provided to our students so hdi is composite having three parameters like life expectancy per capita income and education and this lecture was uploaded on youtube youtube buyers i mean we uploaded this lecture on youtube uh, that was a demo lecture i mean we are really happy that uh, we made a demo lecture and from that demo lecture there is a question in the actual exam so hdi we made a demo lecture and there was a question from demo lecture i'm really happy about it so there was a question from trips what is i stands in trips it is intellectual and we covered it twice uh, once in july 2017 or once uh, way back in 2015 but this was actually part of gk digest GK Digest August 2017. So, which of the following can be considered as a barriers to international trade? Uh, again, this was part of international trade premium content available in the course. Dash defines the poverty in relation to the economic state of or uh, status of other members of the society. People are poor if they fall below the prevailing standards of living in the given social uh, societal con uh, context. Uh, relative poverty is this and this was a part of economic survey notes there were a lot of questions from economic survey notes if you're preparing for rba grade b or any other exam uh, any other related exam like rba grade b bank of india grade officer economic survey is actually very important which of the following sectors offers the largest employment but has a reducing has a reducing share in the economy agriculture uh, so these were the part of economic survey notes again as per the 2018 reports by Ministry of Shipping, the India's trading volume done by the maritime transport is 95%. Yes, we again we covered that in my lecture. I may I there was a lecture about the import export policy, and I I made this sentence. I I wrote the sentence in my lecture. Nominal GDP and real GDP is called uh, multiply 100 is called GDP deflator. Divi nominal GDP divided by real GDP. GD uh, OP multiplied by 100 one of our team members she just told me that she made a proper lecture on it about the G, uh, GDP deflator and this topic was again there in the economic survey and yes we covered it twice agriculture market infra fund has been set up with the initial allocation of 2000 crores 
and this was part of United uh, Union Budget 2018-19 highlights. You can just check it. Uh, we also sent you an email. We sent emails to everybody in our email list, right? So it was part of it. Manarega guarantees right to work, and it was part of Nabard Digest One, the part one that we gave away for free on this YouTube channel. CCA has uh, approved the continuation of PMEGP Beyond 12th plan for an outlay of 5500 crores that was a part of GK Digest March 2018 you can just uh, download the GK Digest March 2018 and if you want to confirm you can confirm you can recheck it uh, the right to life and the personal lib uh, liberty uh, that was uh, uh, that was according to the article mentioned in article 21 and there was an article that we published in our bank exam today's mobile application newsfeed and also on bank exam today.com the article was published in october 2017 the question was directly asked from that article you can just check it this is the link just go to that website and check it yourself this is uh, this content is available for free for everybody to control climate resilient uh, agriculture practices government of maharashtra goi Government of India, West Bengal government have signed an agreement in April 2018 for 420 million. Uh, that was a part of GK Digest April 2018. Recently, that was a recent topic. Which of the following is the second stage in the demographic theory of transition? Rapid decrease in country's death rate while the birth rate remains the high. So that was a part of. In the, in the month of July, we wrote an article about various economic development models. It, it was a part of that article. You can check it. Uh, TRIFED, TRI, FED comes under the administration of Ministry of Tribal Affairs. So we covered it twice. Once in the August 27 GK Digest and second time in the March 2018 GK Digest. You can download the March 2018 issue and you, you can check it yourself. There were a lot of questions from February 2018 GK Digest. There were a lot of questions from March 2018 GK Digest. So inverse relationship between inflation and employment is depicted by Philip uh, Phillips curve. Uh, we didn't cover that. I mean, we didn't cover that topic. Anyhow, I mean, we are going to cover that, but we didn't cover that. RBI adopted CBI combined as an indicator uh, for inflation targeting on the recommendation of see first of all uh, this inflation targeting we covered this concept in 2016 indirectly yes this question was from our study material but honestly speaking I never recommended anybody to read articles from 2016 so uh, I cannot take a credit of this question. As per the economic survey 2018, the percentage of working women has declined from 36% 2005 to 24% and the, this was part of economic survey notes. Dash is defined as experience of everyday life leading standardization of cultural expressions around the world that is cultural globalization. That was very easy actually, <laughs> really easy. So as per economic survey 2018, the formality as defined by the social security is 31% while formality if uh, defined using GST data is 53%. So again, this question was from economic survey, a lot of questions from economic survey. So that's all for today students. We found the 36 question from out of 40 from our study material. So you can cross check it. I'm going to provide list of all the question list of uh, all the links in the description. You can cross check yourself. So uh, in case you're preparing for Navad uh, grade A mains exam and if you're expecting your scores uh, more than if, if you're expecting you're going to score more than 110. Anyhow the cutoff is going to remain around 110 and 115. If, if you are hoping that you are going to score 110 in the general category then yes you should prepare for the mains exam and for the mains exam I guarantee you that 80% more than 80% questions will be asked from our study material the study material prepared by team bank exams today so what I recommend you is take a demo I think I hope you have already downloaded our uh, capsules uh, from this YouTube channel only and I hope you are following us so this is the right time to join the course so link to join the course is available in the description if you have any kind of doubt you can call us right away so that's all for today students uh, 36 questions out of 80 so if you if you are uh, if you have already joined some other course if you are you know going to any teacher ask your teacher that sir how many questions were asked from your study material
I mean, people are lying a lot, but ask your teacher, sir, how many questions were asked from your study material? I mean, trust me, they are not even covering the general awareness. They are not covering anything. But uh, we have the proof. You can just check it. I mean, the links are available. The GK Digest is actually available for free. Uh, you can just check our economic survey notes. You can check any, everything, right? So that's all for today, students. And one more request. Uh, please subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon if you want to receive uh, the study material on a regular basis. That's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye.